the internet, this is Fiddles, and uh, today in this video I'm going to be addressing a um, a problem, my addiction that I've been struggling with for a couple years, so um, I think you guys should know this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Okay, so um, this addiction I've been struggling with for about three, two, three years, and um, I, I try to break it. Um, it's been on and off, but um, I, I, I just couldn't seem to shake the habit or the addiction. Um, and my my addiction is osu. Yep, it's osu. <laughs> um, it's probably like a, a weird addiction, but you know, uh, you know, strange addictions TLC. Anybody watch those? Just me. Okay. Um, so yeah, I have been addicted to osu for about two, three years, and you're probably asking yourself, well. Fiddles, how, how could you say addicted? The the definition of addicted is something you cannot live without and your body starts to go through withdrawals and stuff. Well, yes, my body goes through withdrawals if I do not play Osu. Uh, if I decide not to play Osu for a couple months, which happens, like I said, um, I kind of go on and off with this. Sometimes I just stop playing, um, not because the game gets boring or anything. It's just because my life gets too busy to sit down and play Osu for four to five hours um yeah um it just um it, it gets hard not not to play without it um after about like i said after i stop playing for a long time i um i physically go through withdrawals like i start wanting to play it i start craving to play the game and then um after i play the game i usually feel better uh, i feel a lot better um, obviously this is a joke, I'm not addicted, but I have put way too many hours into this game. I have put over 32 hours into Osu. Yes, over 32 hours into Osu. For what reason, I, I, I can't tell you, to be honest. I, I really can't tell you, but I, I did it. I, I did it. Yeah, um... So I just want to talk to you guys about this game, um, tell you some of the, just tell you the story, how I got into Osu, how I became addicted to Osu, and um, a lot of people probably don't understand what's the end result of this game, because this game isn't like an MMORPG, or like a, um, you know, a dungeon or, um, based game that you, um, you know, you get gear, you level up, you beat the hardest boss in the game. There's no hardest boss in this game, so I'm just gonna tell you guys the um, the end goal of this game. So let's go ahead and get into it. So um, about three years ago, uh, I want to say, so the ending of fifth grade, um, I found gameplay of this game called Osu, uh, and it was a map. If you guys don't know what a map is in Osu, a map is like a song that you play and Guitar Hero or Garage Band is a song, but and the Osu community we call it a map. Um, if you guys don't know what a map is, I hope that better explains it to you. Um, I found a map um, called Big Black. Big Black is probably it's supposed to be the hardest map in Osu, but so many players have beat it in so many different ways that now it's kind of like a joke if you could beat it, but it's still considered one of the hardest maps in Osu. Uh, anyway, I saw the gameplay of that, and I was like, wow, this game looks, what, what in the, what, what is this? So, I looked up more gameplay of it, and the more I looked up, uh, gameplay, the more I fell in love with this game. I started to really enjoy the game. Uh, and on my birthday, I think, I think it was my birthday, on my birthday, uh, I was telling my mom about this game, and she was like, is it an Xbox game? And I was like, no, because at the time, I didn't have a PC. I didn't have a gaming PC. All I had was an Xbox. Because I was a console boy. I'm not gonna lie. I was. A, I grew up on console. I grew up on Xbox 360. Um. So she uh, said that I could download it on her computer, and I was excited. I was just. I was hype. All right. And um, just to clarify to you guys, now it wasn't. It, w it wasn't a gaming PC because none of my. Uh, parents were uh, PC gamers. They were both also console gamers. Um, the only time my mom played 
on PC was to play Sims, but other than that, she was a console gamer. She played Tomb Raider on um, PlayStation and all that good stuff. So she was, she had an Apple computer, a Macintosh. Um, at the time, that's what it was called, the Macintosh or a Mac. Yeah, if you guys ever try to play on an Apple computer, you guys know that it, it, it's it's virtually impossible to to play on a, on an Apple computer. But I I um uh, I went forth, I proceeded, and I played or I downloaded Osu on the computer. Unfortunately, so when I downloaded it, um I was clueless. I was completely lost. I did not know what in the world I was doing, but I'm gonna tell you, I had a fantastic time not knowing what I was doing, alright? Um, I mean, I had like a general idea of what to do because I was watching gameplay, but like, obviously, I didn't know what uh, performance points were, what accuracy was, what streaming was, the, you know, the correct terminology of, of Osu at the time. I just played it because the song sounded cool. Um, and for a good two or three months, I didn't even know how to download beatmaps or beatmap packs. So I was just playing the same songs the game comes with, which I think is like, at the time, I think it was like four or five songs. Um, but I kept playing the songs over and over and over and getting higher scores. Um, but then when I finally uh, learned how to install beatmaps and beatmap packs and download uh, songs and maps, I, if you guys ever played Osu, which I assume most of you don't, but Osu literally, my Osu song file, or my Osu map file, is the biggest file I have on my computer. I think I have over like 800 separate files in that one folder. It's ginormous, it's, it's a massive file, um, and it's all just songs. Yeah, so, um, I was downloading song after song after song on my Apple, my mom's Apple computer. Remember, was Apple. Apple is not meant for, you know, overclocking or gaming or huge files. It's not meant for that. Um, but, you know, I, I proceeded and I downloaded, like, 400 and something songs. And my mom was like, all right, she saw the folder with all the uh, files. And she's like, okay, all right, all right, all right. Why, what is this? I'm like, this is Osu. She's like, all right, get it off my computer. You're, you're taking it too far. And I'm like, but ma, I, I want to play Osu. She's like, I don't care if you want to play Shisui, uh, Os o Otaku, um, Ocean, Oreo, uninstall it. I was like, oh, oh okay. Um, so I uninstalled it, and I was sad because I, I, you know, couldn't play Osu. So from here, I kind of forgot about the game. Um, and then I think a year later, in my sixth grade year, I got a gaming laptop. Um, and it took me about another year to just rediscover Osu. So in sixth grade, I got my gaming laptop. In seventh grade is where I rediscovered Osu. And this is where I started to play the game pretty much religiously. I played this game so much. It was honestly sad and ridiculous. I actually had a second account, uh, my variable X account that you see now. This was not, this is not my first Osu account. I had a second Osu account that I put like five days into. So if you guys see my, um, if you guys go back in the video and see the um, Osu information or my account information, it says it breaks it down by days, hours, and minutes. So my current account has one day, 18 hours, and I think like 32 minutes. My other account had four days, 16 hours, and like 12 minutes. So my other account, I played a lot, but I ditched that account because my accuracy was like 73. On this account, I have a 91% accuracy. So yeah, I ditched that old account because I was playing with the mouse at the time. Um, and you're probably asking yourself, well, don't you play this game with the mouse? You can, but you use these things called the Osu tablet, and I'll get more into that later. So yeah, I rediscovered the game, and I was playing this game pretty much like two to three hours a day. Like two to three hours every day. Some days like five to, to eight hours. I was not I was not gonna let this game breathe. So I played and I played and I played and I played and I played, and I played so much that um, 
unfortunately I think my file uh, on my old gaming laptop got so big I had over like 2,000 song files um, the computer my gaming laptop ended up going kablamo unfortunately uh, this was in the eighth grade um, and I ended up getting my new gaming PC that I have now um, but just to explain to you guys how much I played this game in eighth grade because eighth grade is where I really started to play this game um, I played this game so much that there is a tendon that runs from your wrist to the midpoint, um, almost the tip of your thumb. I forgot the name of the tendon, but you guys can look it up. Um, and I ended up developing tendonitis because, uh, the way I hold the pen and the way I'll move my wrist around. And tendonitis is just an overworking and overstretching of a tendon. Um, it's usually nothing serious or severe. Usually, like, after a month of healing, it's good to go if you don't use a tendon. Uh, I ended up developing that in my wrist, and the doctor was like, okay, alright, chill out. Um, I, I told him that I was just doing uh, push-ups a lot, and I was just, he said, yeah, push-ups could cause that due to tension on your wrist and your push up So he's like, okay, you know, if that's the reason why, just stop doing it or whatever's causing it, just stop for a month, and then you could go back to whatever you, you used to do. So that's what I did. I stopped playing Osu for a whole month, and then as soon as the doctor was like, all right, you're clear, I hopped straight back on Osu. Um, and this is where, this is around the time my old gaming laptop broke, and I got myself a new gaming computer, which I use now to play games, record, and upload videos for you guys. Um, so yeah, that was just my, my story of how I got addicted to Osu, and ever since then, I've been on and off with the game, I would play it for like, a year, and then I'll stop playing it for a couple months, and then I'll play it for a couple more months, and I'll stop playing it for like a month, and it was just this back and forth of playing it, not playing it, playing it, not playing it, being addicted, not playing it, playing it, not playing it, and I just keep doing this over and over and over and over, and um, I love it, and this is, Osu is the only game that I kind of do that with, um, which is, which is cool, um, I think everybody has that one game that they do that with, uh, and for me it's Osu, so, yeah. Um, so with this story out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about why I would play this game so much. Because a lot of people are like, what is, what is the end result of, of, of playing this game so much? What, what do you, what do you gain from playing this game so much? So, in the game, in this game, Osu, all the time you complete a map, you get a ranking for that map, or a score for that map. Now these scores go in a certain order. So from the highest to the lowest, it goes double S or SS, S, A, B, C, D, and then F. Uh, usually means you failed the map, but you barely passed by like the skin of your teeth. Um, but you really don't see Fs because you usually fail it. So the lowest is usually a D. Now from here, um, depending on that ranking, you get these things called performance point or PP. Uh, now this, uh, your PP is, <laughs> yeah, your PP is what uh, determines how good you are at the game. The more performance points you gain from a map, the better you are. Um, and you get a ranking. Now this ranking isn't like in uh, League of Legends or CSGO or Overwatch where you're like bronze, silver, gold. You get a specific number dedicated to you. So for me, I think my ranking is 338,063. That's my ranking. I am ranked 3,363. 3,000 or 338,063. That's my ranking. Um, and the higher, or the better you get, the more performance points you're getting per map, the, um, lower that number goes, and the closer you are to one, the better you are at the game, and that's your end goal, to try to hit number one, now obviously, to hit number one, you have to put even more time into the game than what I have, people who are number one, they have put over a year into the game, they have been playing this game for years, like, I can I, I am nowhere close to those those players, but hopefully I will one day become that good. Alright, so um that's that's pretty much it. I just wanna explain to you guys the addiction that I have and the next time you guys don't see a video uploaded on Tuesday or Thursday, you know it's probably because I got stuck playing Osu. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, go ahead and scroll down and click that thumbs up button. And while you're there, go ahead and click that big red box that says subscribe. Because when you click that button, you're going to join the best family on YouTube, the Forest Fam. And when you join that family, you will be welcome. So if you click that button, welcome. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.